Welcome to this tutorial video on how to splice a Dyneema style rope loop. Okay, so this is your Dyneema style rope, first of all, and the kind that we use, because there's several different kinds, is hollow core. So there's nothing inside, it's just braided. Okay, so, so I right here I have a pair of scissors, very sharp, make sure they're sharp scissors. You're gonna need two different kinds of fids that are gonna match the same width of your rope, right? The same size of your rope. So the first one is a tubular fid. I'm using quarter inch rope. So this is a quarter inch fid. Um, for size reference, this is a 5 16 fid. And it is quite different. So it is important because it won't fit if it's too big. Um, and then the um, Swedish fid, which has that nice little pocket in there. It helps, um, you'll see, uh, feed the rope through the difficult parts. So this one is up to a 5 8 size. This can be half inch to 5 8 or less. Um, so yeah, use one of those. You're gonna want bigger the better, it helps feed it through. Then we've got the tape that you're gonna need. I use electric tape, okay? And sometimes people could use painter's tape, either one. You'll see why that's relevant. Um, and then I also have my thread here. It's wax twine, wax twine. This is also an option. Um, I'll show you why when we get to that point. Um, it's not always necessary, but if you want a little extra reinforcement, needle and thread. And then um, I have a pair of pliers if needed. I always do. And then a marker. This is also a preference. I'll show you why you would want to use this. And it's just to mark the space so you know if you have a specific like loop length that you want, you can mark it so that you won't go under or over. So here's my quarter inch Dyneema. All right, here's the bitter end right here. Um, you, you can usually tape it off, but I burnt it with a hot knife so it won't come apart. Um, and what you'll wanna do is just measure, um, fold it over, take the bitter end just like so. Um, however long you need your eye to be, it's up to you. You can measure it um, and I'll show you again where to mark it in a moment. So what I, what I typically do is take my fid because at one point you're gonna feed it through the hollow core and just measure how much you need. I'll hold it like so and give myself enough space to where the loop is going to be big enough i'll pull it under let's see this is a big big enough loop for the tutorial so there you go now where my fingers are that is where you're going to want to mark it if you need to not everybody needs to it's just kind of an eyeball situation i do it on both sides just in case all right and that is a permanent sharp sharpie so all right so then first thing uh, leave the bitter end out, okay, and take this this piece here and just where that mark is, go ahead and loosen it up a little bit. Take your Swedish fid, all right, push it through so that it's an even, it doesn't go through the thread, and then you can see there's a nice big um, section there where I'm going to take the bitter end and slide it through, okay, and this is where that mark that you had is going to match, okay, so there you go. There's that mark. We're going to pull it through and hold it where um, that was. So now I'm going to mark, meet the marks, okay, on either piece. And I'm going to take the better and end. squish it just a little bit. Squish it just a little bit. And then put the fid through one more time where that mark was. You're going to take this loop, okay, this piece, and you're going to shove it through. Now that's this is probably the hardest part. So what I do is take the tubular fid and I just apply pressure and I push it through. So I'm gonna put it on my desk here. It's easier if you have it on the desk. And you can see you're gonna take the fit out and hold the loop while it's through. Take the bitter end, pull the loop through, voila. Okay, now take this, fold it over, go underneath right here where the loop or where the two pieces meet, you're gonna go underneath that bitter end so go underneath completely, not through the, any threads, just right underneath, just like so. And then take your bitter end and slide it underneath. Boop, okay. Now you're gonna see you have this like little uh, loop-de-loop -loop style thing going on. What you wanna do is pull, see how that clicked? Pull this bitter end and get this nice and flat. So use your fingers to just kind of pull it through and boom, pull again on the loop and you have your knot. Look at that, isn't that cool? Easy peasy, so now you have to secure it, right? So what you're gonna do is loosen, not the bitter end, but the other piece, all right? And this is where your mini, or your tubular fit's gonna come in. Put it through the hollow core as close to the knot as possible. 
and you're just gonna snake it through. It's kind of like a finger trap. Slowly poke it through the middle. And now you're gonna understand while I'm doing this, why um, it's important that this piece was at least as long as the fid, as the tubular fid. Now you've got a nice little section there. Take your tape and I'm gonna take like maybe about a couple inches and cut that off. And then what I'll do is take the bitter end to the little hole here and kind of just tape it on. You wanna do this tightly so that it doesn't come loose when you're pulling it through. It's the easiest way to make sure you don't lose this bitter end in the middle of pulling it through. Just nice and tight like that, okay? And what I typically do is this um, circular, or this twisty motion. So hold this, hold this snake part lightly and then just, I spin, spin, spin. And then you just kind of have to guide it sometimes, just very gently. So there you go. Now what I typically do is just pull it apart. Easy enough, if it is off, you've got your strength through the hollow core. Now I move this all the way back and I'm gonna cut this at a deep angle, very sharp angle, okay? So and then again, deep cut, deep sharp slant. Throw this away. What you're gonna wanna do is now take this, push this down again as far as you can, and then just take all these apart, all of them apart. Easy enough. Pull it through, see, voila. Make sure that the strands are all hidden. If you did not cut the um, Dyneema enough, just pull it back through, cut it a little bit more until it gets to a point where you can't see it after you pull it Those through. Those strands on the inside do is they'll feed through the knot, they'll feed through the Dyneema and just keep creating that lock tight. Um, this is all you have to do. Um, typically, if you'd like, you can take your needle and thread this is also an option, not necessary. As long as you apply tension to this knot, it should not come apart because it literally locks on tension. So as long as you have tension on it, it shouldn't be an issue. However, if you wanna be extra sure, just take a little piece of thread and poke it through the knot where through each strand, just fasten it like so. All right, I put a loop through, and then what I do, take the loops like that, and then I just whip it down, down push it through. Desk is really helpful in situations like this. Take the tiny little ends, pull it, pull it through. And then my, my pliers come in handy so I can make, it, make sure it's tight. You just kind of pull it a little bit and then I tie a double knot. So one, two, pull, secure it again. I take my finger and then just my pliers and pull in opposite directions just to really make sure that knot clicks in and you'll feel it. Typically, if you're using a wax twine, you'll feel it lock in place. And then I have a hot knife, um, you cut the thread. I have a hot knife, um, you can use a torch, you can use whatever tools you have, a lighter. And then I just burn these little edges because it secures the knot. And then I use my finger or you can use the desk to just press it down. It melts that little knot in there so it doesn't bother the Dyneema, nothing. It doesn't weaken it. Um, so now you've got a fixed um, Dyneema. I have any questions, just comment below on any steps that you might need help with. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.